Hi and welcome to our Creating a Project tutorial. I'm Kathleen and I'm going to take you through how to create your first project, how to assign resources to your tasks, uh, adding notes and links, how to print your project and uh, how to view your project dashboard and reports. So let's kick off by starting your first project. You can do this via multiple ways. You can click on the Create a Project icon here on your Welcome page. You can go to the main menu on the left and drop down to the New option. Or on the top right hand side you've always got the blue New tab. So if we click on that you'll see that the first step in the process is to add summary information about my project. So the name, description, choose the working days, set a default rate and a budget for my project. So let's do that now. Do a description. The working days are the days that you expect resources to be working on your project and once set these cannot be changed for your project. So you want to make sure that you cover all the days you expect resources to work. The default rate this is the rate that will be used for any resources that don't have an individual resource rate set for them and your project budget of course which you can change uh, if you need to. Uh, you'll see on the right hand side there is an option for me to select my uh, security for this project who can see it. Uh, you can change this at any time once your project's created but if you're creating a project that you don't want uh, a certain group or users to see yet or have access you can simply um, take those users off and by default you'll see it's left me because of course I have access to my own project. So we'll click OK and that will create my project. Let's see I now have a tab up the top with the name of that new project just like uh, all my other projects and groups that I have here. And the next step is to create my task list. So I can do this four different ways. I can click OK and directly into those into my task sheet. I can import a task list. If I click on the Choose File button, I can import Microsoft Project, Excel, OpenOffice, CSV or text files from my computer. I can use the third option, which is to paste directly, so using Control v pasting from any other application directly into my project. And the last option is to copy another project's tasks. So you'd use this if you've run another similar project or perhaps a project that you're using as a template. You can simply select it from your list here and choose to copy over all the data or just the task list. But since this is our first project, let's just go to the top and create uh, directly our tasks into the project. So when I click OK, it just starts me off with a blank sheet for that project and I'm under the Tasks pane of my project. And you'll see that the Tasks area looks and works just like a powered up version of Microsoft Project and Excel. So I can click here to start entering tasks. I might want to have a kickoff meeting for my project, set the date, the duration, how much effort for that activity, that task, the percentage complete, let's say we're 50% complete on that. I want to assign a resource to that task. I can click on the resource cell here or use the resource button on the edit menu above. And you'll see for this task, it's showing me the availability of all resources on my account. And if I hover over any resources, their availability shows me which other tasks they're assigned to that prevent them from working on this task. Resources, of course, aren't just people. They could be rooms, plant, software, anything that you're going to use on your project. So let's assign a meeting room and a resource to work on this task. I could also create a new resource directly here. Simply enter the resource name and hit create and you have a new resource. And of course I can filter up here if I have a large number of resources and I want to list them by their names. So we'll click OK. You'll see those two resources have been assigned to that task. It's got a little Gantt chart. It's only a very small task. And all tasks have a task information pane. You'll see down the bottom of the screen. If this isn't showing on your plan, you just need to click on the little arrow and that will display the pane for you below your plan. And it's defaulted to the resource tab at the moment because I'm in the resources area for that task. You can see again I can assign additional resources or unassign. I can change the percentage allocation that those resources are working on that task 
will create any new ta uh, resources directly here in the task pane. On the general tab for this task, I can alter the name, percentage complete, change the priority, update any of the planned or actual dates or costs associated. And here as well you could make this a milestone task or lock it. One of the other tabs for your task is a notes section. So this is a huge free text area where you can enter as many notes as you like. Next tab along is the documents area. So you have a project document storage area but this is at the task level so you might want to store a document that is very specific to this task so it might be an expense claim or say the meeting agenda for this meeting something that you might not want to put at the project level but certainly at the task level. And the last tab uh, for this task is the integrate tab. Here you can copy this URL, paste it into an external application, perhaps an email, and then when you or anyone else with a login to Project Manager clicks it, they'll come straight to this task on this project. Also on my task sheet I can change the columns that I see here by clicking on the grey uh, top bar. It will show me the tasks, the columns that I can choose from, as well as the ability to create any custom columns. So you see as well I can link risks and issues and changes to any of my tasks and display those here. And I just scroll across and move the Gantt in or out as it suits my view. The edit menu above your tasks list has a lot of options as well as if you click, uh, left click on a task, it, sorry right click on a task, it will also bring up the edit menu and all the options for you. So you can indent, out, dent, again link, link risks and issues as well as create dependencies between tasks. You can colour any of these uh, uh, Gantt bars as well as change your filter. So this is a handy way if I click that you'll see that you can view tasks assigned to a particular resource. At a glance you can see what they're working on. You might want to only see your milestones and summary tasks. So you can change your filter. Uh, that's a quick and easy way to change your view. From here as well you can print your project. Just select your print settings and OK. And if at this point I realize I want to import, say, a Microsoft project plan, I'd simply hit the import, and this will allow me to uh, browse to my computer for a file, import it, and either replace uh, my entire plan with that imported data or append it to the end of my task sheet. And you'll see there the file size limit is 250 megs. Another nice little feature at the task level is the discussion. So for each task, I can create a discussion. So this might be a thread that I want between uh, project team members on this task. So it might be agenda items for this meeting. And I might want people to suggest items for that. You'll see that's created it. It says who's raised it, me. But for someone else viewing that, they will see my name. It's time stamped. I can edit that or delete this. And now against that, task, you'll see there's the little icon for discussion in the information column. That project discussion will also show on my My Home tab and under my activity stream if I've chosen to sign up for uh, information on discussions on my projects. And of course you have a sample project which we'll just jump to. Of course always remember to save your project before you leave the page. Project manager tries to remind me. Uh, your sample project's preloaded, it comes in your account and this is a good place to come and test some of the functions and features, a place where you can just experiment and work with the uh, interactive Gantt as well as the task sheet. And of course under my project next to the tasks tab is the dashboard and here I can see for my project at a glance the health and status of my project, where my risks, issues and changes are currently at, as well as the allocation of my resources on that project. To pull a report on my project, I can simply go to the All tab, click on Reports and select, for example, my project status report. Choose my project, how I want that project displayed, so pick my rollout project that we just created, uh, any of the columns that I'd like 
in that report and uh, whether I want all the information. For example, I might not want my risk of season changes to be pulled out in this report, uh, but hit select them all. And as with all of our reports, there's a variety of ways that you can receive them. You can choose to view them on screen and then export them. I have them emailed to you directly, PDF, Excel or Word formats. So let's pick view just so we can see this on screen. So you can see, of course, we only had one task that we've created so far. So it's a pretty small report, but it shows me at the top level um, how my project is going, that budget that I entered, my planned and start and finish dates, uh, how far uh, ahead of schedule, my allocation of resources, and here are my tasks that are due this week, the tasks that we created, as well as if I had risks, issues, and changes created, they would also show here. And of course, if I wanted to export this, I could now, uh, or just view it on screen to check the status of my project. So I've shown you how to create your first new project, how to enter your task lists and assign resources, as well as adding any notes, links, or documents to your tasks. If you have any issues at all, please don't hesitate to contact us in the support team using support at projectmanager.com or the support help link on the top right of the system. Thanks.